broadcast continues very shortly. Is it the second or the third wrap-up show today? Doesn't it feel like we've been here already for so long? <laughs> it End does. of day two, it's hard to imagine. End of day two, <laughs> it's been so much fun. Um, so this is a show where we kind of recap the highlights of the day I and look this. at what's coming up tomorrow and, and really kind of capture the vibe and what's happening around us. And we get to hang out together. And exactly. That's my favorite thing. So we spend the entire day talking about Cisco capabilities and what's going on in the industry, all the other people out here. But I miss my friends. So oh, we, we tend to be running off in different directions. So yeah. uh, it's good to be with you. And we don't have Rob and Agarim with us right now. But we're going to go to them. Yeah, we might say hello to them moment. soon. Talk to me about the day. What did you love today? Uh, what did you feel that really kind of brought the show alive for you today? I think when I'm always speaking to my customers, the customer experience and services element is always something that they're asking about. So I loved hearing from Alistair and from Phil um, and the obviously watching the videos just there as well. So customer experience really top of mind for me. I'm still, I said this yesterday, but I'm still learning a lot about DevNet. I think that's amazing. Yeah. Um, I'm an account manager at Cisco, so I don't t tend to spend that much time actually coding and down at that level. But what I've really understood from it is that anyone can go over to the DevNet zone here at Cisco Live 2019 Barcelona and they can um, speak to experts that's one-to-one -one, and they really help them to get started. So the DevNet and the CX, I think would I would say are my highlights. And it's great that you brought that up because there's such wonderful new stuff happening over in DevNet. I don't know if you went into the startup zone area. So often this is about letting people know, we've got you on this, don't worry about it. Come on in, give it a try. We want to invite people in and let them know this is not intimidating. You can get out there and get started yourself very, very easily and DevNet is making it so simple for you. Susie is running that team like a well-oiled machine. She's a rock star. Love the startup zone and I loved what they're doing in the mentoring program as well, so I agree. Um, I was having such a good time over in uh, the Cisco Showcase when I was there earlier. We've been doing some nice embeds, but I actually got to do a full spin around, and when you really stand there in the middle and you take it in, this is why you have to come down and be a part of Cisco Live and be at the show. You stand in the middle of it and you realize exactly what Cisco is bringing to the marketplace in one great circle. I just love that. Me too, and it's so inclusive because it's you really design your own schedule. So it's, do you want to go to the talk, the innovation showcases? Do you want to walk around the hub and the social media? You can come say hello to us here in the studio in Hall 6 as well. Yes. Wander around the world of solutions, hear from partners, all the fun things in the playground the CSR, you can just really do anything that you like here. But you got to get down here to the show. <laughs> Definitely. So let's see what's going on in the world of solutions. Yes. And over to Rob. You're on. Thank you, Steve. So uh, I'm here at World of Solutions and I'm at the Cyber Escape Room. So I think everyone knows what an escape room is, uh, but we've got this idea here in a cybersecurity context. So hi, Rob. I've got yeah. Rob here as well. Yeah. Have you ever tried an escape room? I've, I've been in one escape room, and uh, it was not a it's not a super positive experience. <laughs> no. It was um, there was a little time spent, I should say, and then uh, eventually, yeah. No, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, I've been in an escape room. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was in uh, Florida. Just that, I'll leave it at that. So I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> about this. I apologize. Are you? Okay. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Well, um, so the idea of the cyber escape room is that um, there, there is obviously a breach, right? So a breach has happened. So you go into the room and you need to investigate that breach. So you need to figure out exactly why this breach happened, what was the patient zero, why, why did, like, how did the, this attack spread, and you need to quarantine the right uh, cause you know, of that threat. And if you can figure it out, uh, you are then released from the room. Right, so, so I think to go in, I think we're supposed to push this button. Okay. I'm looking okay. at some off-screen people that are supposed to help us. So what, you push that for me? Sure. Do you mind? Oh, you give that a big me. push and I'll go in and then they'll tell me what I need to do, something will okay, happen. Okay, 15 minutes. It's Why don't you come minutes. in, just stick with me for just one second. Right, okay. that's good. So we seem to have stumbled in on a 
conversation of some sort. Um, okay, well, let me see what's happening here. Thank you. Right. I'm sorry, am I in the right thank place you. for an escape room of Just some sort? Um, thank you for coming at such short notice. Now, um, I'm not the sort of person to mince my words, so I'll come straight to it. I've got you in because I've heard, I've been told you're the best at what you do. I hope I've been told right. Well, it depends on what we're referring to, but okay, let's just roll with that for the moment. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, I hope I hope I have been told right. Now, the, here's the thing. This office was broken into once before. Tough to admit it, it was some time ago now, but let's just say once bitten, twice shy. But one thing I have learned, mm. trust your instincts. Mm. And my instincts are telling me that we've had another uninvited guest in this office right some of the systems are down and i don't think it's just a glitch okay. now my hunch is someone's come in here okay. and they've left information clues if you like lying around the place about three in order for an accomplice to return later. three or four three three in order for an accomplice in order for, oh, okay. an accom yes listen carefully no, I'm uh, in order for an accomplice to return later and hack into our computer oh. systems now i have got 15 minutes before my meeting so that's how much time you've got to figure it out go now okay all right i take I, guys I, i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to live out the out full here. experience to see what this is all about good luck we'll check back thank you so much Okay, All right, um, so, so I have that to find was Rob, so it's 15 minutes. Gonna... Let's see how it goes. Hopefully he can Locking solve it and solve it quickly. And uh, for now, we are going to go back to the t TV studio. You've got to bring it back to up. She's, she's terrifying. <laughs> I love her. Three. There are three things to figure out. Good luck, Rob. Why do I have a feeling we are never seeing Rob Boyd again for the rest of our lives? What will we do without him? He was delightful when he was still alive, but we'll see how it goes out. Let's kind of change our focus a little bit. Let's yeah. talk about these innovation showcases that have been going on all week. And I've got the best guy in the world for innovation showcase. If we switch right over here, it's Mr. Toby Cisneros. How are you, bud? I'm really good, Steve. You're too kind. It's been a year <laughs> since we had a chance to get together and talk with each other on this very show floor. Uh, you were hosting the innovation showcases then. You're doing it again this year. What has been going on over there? We've been listening in, but it's been an amazing experience. What's your view from your side? I love it. Now, I don't have the technical side up here, but I just love the fact that we have senior vice presidents, general managers. We have some of the top minds here at Cisco, and they're available to everyone to come over and view. Mm -hmm. And again, if you can't make a session for whatever reason, or you want to see it again, like I heard you saying earlier, you can always go to CiscoLive.com once during a live filming or once it's been filmed. Now, we're sharing with you the latest solutions, service innovations, and of course, best practices, which we know are informing and inspiring people here to get engaged at Cisco Live 2019. It's really exciting, and you've had a chance to go over into the showcase and interview people following it. Uh, what have you seen about what you know what Toby is, is talking about here and from your yeah. perspective? I think it's a great opportunity for customers, like you said, um, Toby, to hear from the leaders who are kind of really running these engineering teams and hearing hands-on um, and, and first uh, around what they're working on as well. And it's also a great opportunity for customers to be able to ask questions and actually to interact with them as well. And of course, we've, we've been catching a lot of the leaders straight as they've got off stage, fresh, so we've been hearing some of those themes that are coming up as well. All right. So I've got to ask you, I'm just going to kind of dig in. You've got the sort of behind the scenes here. Is everybody nice? Are they on their best behavior? Are they doing well? Are they being kind over there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love Cisco people. <laughs> um, Said every, very gingerly. I very much appreciate that. Every, everybody's having a great time. Um, everybody's easy to work with. Obviously, you have some people that are really energetic, and mm -hmm. it's great to see that up on stage. Uh, I try to bring as much energy to it as I can as oh, yeah. well. I feel like I'm starting to be woven into the Cisco fabric here now that I've been doing this for a while. Sometimes that positive approach is all it takes to lift it up. The audience this year, correct me if I'm wrong, every time I go by, it seems like people really now have the picture. They know what the innovation showcases are about and they're making it a priority to get into those theaters, right? And we're getting packed out. Isn't that great? Every single time out. And again, for those of you who are tuning into the broadcast right here, you are not on the show with us, but you can be in the future, and you're going to see Toby out there quite a bit uh, taking good care of those people. Let me ask you uh, one last question, and that is from your own personal experience. You said you are not necessarily very technical. Do you feel like you learn a ton while you're here at the show? I wouldn't say a ton, because this brain can only soak up so much, <laughs> okay. but it definitely soaks up more than what I would, would before. So it's just some of the things, you know, listening to Susie Wee or Kip Compton, talk about things that 
I have no idea about. I always love learning new things, and obviously this isn't new to some people, but maybe some of the stuff they are, because it's, it's top innovation. Again, we're talking about the newest solutions. And I know you also said, and I'll say this quickly, uh, if you have questions, use the WebEx Teams rooms, and you can download that at Cisco Live. Um, you can do it at the App Store. That so, is about it. it's so beneficial, do it, and engage, get connected. This is here, it's for you. Get out there and talk to people, and innovate, and come up with it. Man, that's as good a button as I could ever begin to ask for. Toby, congratulations, again, great work over there. We're going to see you throughout the day tomorrow, and in just a few minutes, Nish and I are going to preview what's coming up in those innovation showcases tomorrow as well, and we'll keep watching you up here on our monitor. Thanks for having me, always a pleasure, guys. Thanks so much, Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. So what are we going to next, my friend Nish? Well, we talked about the innovation showcases, mm -hmm. and I think that is fantastic for learning about, you know, in, in very short um, kind of snippets, 40 minutes, what is going on in this space. Uh, we've got the opportunity to wander around, like I said, the playground, CSR, but let's see why the viewers at home should come to Cisco Live next year and what they can see when they attend. You know, we say it again and again and again, the best way to experience Cisco Live is to do it in person. Wherever you live in the world, get yourself to Cisco Live. Look at the dynamic and the energy back over here behind me. Cisco is driving us toward the digital future and we want you in the room to be a part of it. Let's go talk to a few people, see what their thoughts are on the show. Why should people be here live in the room with us at Cisco Live? When we sit here on the show floor and they open the doors first thing in the morning and everybody rushes in, it's really exciting. It was just awesome. Actually, this is my first official Cisco Live, so yay! It's just awesome to be here. It's fun to tell people what's new, but it's also great to solve customers' problems and answer their questions and show them some of the stuff in person. And uh, it's very addictive. You keep coming and you cannot and I am the bridge to everywhere. How are you creating bridges? Meeting with my partners, with customers, making sure I take back all this information back to South Africa. Online, everything is virtual. You don't really interact with anyone. Here, you get to meet people. Meeting all those people in the same place, being able to network with the business units, I think for me is actually what really makes a difference. You can have a little bit more time to sit down, have a deeper conversation, but it's really great just to interact with people one-on-one. -on -one. What about the excitement and the energy here in the room right now? I mean, you can really feel it. I mean, look at the amount of people. You really feel the energy when you're at live. Sometimes you walk in the Cisco Live, you, you, you meet somebody, you discuss, and you say, okay, nice. I, I do not know this technology, and in fact, this is really nice. I, I can really apply it to my domain. So what would you say to people who have never been here to the show before? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, people, there you go. That is exactly what it is all about and what it feels like to be live with us here in the room at Cisco Live. It's an amazing conference. You just heard from a few of the voices from the people who are here with us in Barcelona. We want you to be one of those people. Wherever you happen to live, get out to a Cisco Live, become a part of the excitement and the energy, and we're going to look forward to meeting you on another show soon. Thanks for joining us. I love that video. That does such a good job of telling you why you want to be here with us live at the show. We say it over and over throughout the broadcast that there is something about being in the room. Absolutely. We'd love to have all of you uh, uh, here with us and connecting with us online and, and watching through whatever portal you're watching through. But boy, get down here to the show where we can mix and mingle and be together. And we really do love that. Let's change focus just a little bit. Let's talk about the people who have been here a long time and who've gotten those deep certifications. We haven't really yeah. taught CCIE, right? We haven't yet so far, but I think CCIE is one of the highest qualifications that you can have. Right back here behind us. Yep, so just behind us here, we've got the CCIE lounge, um, and we've also got the South Pace Labs. So this is an opportunity uh, for attendees to go along to the labs, um, participate, and it actually counts towards some of their certifications as well, which is really exciting. So something else they can do here, and obviously the advantage of doing them here is you get the help and the support, and you can ask questions. And of course, we all know things are a lot more fun when you're doing them with other people. They are, because but we yeah. want to get these certifications, and everybody talks about how exciting it is to be able to get you know CCI certified and you get perks when you do come here to the events you get these private lounges and these private experiences by being a CCIE but like with what we were talking about over at DevNet people have sort of this hesitation I'm not quite sure I don't know if I'm ready I don't know if I have the knowledge give it a shot toss in be here and part of it with us because once we are all here together in the room 
that's the dynamic that creates these new experiences and the ability to take your career and move it to that next level. Absolutely, I think the energy is contagious, absolutely contagious. It really is, it really is. Okay, so I think we're going to go back out to the uh, Cisco Showcase and check in at the escape room. Let's see how Rob is doing <laughs> in our process. I, I, I hesitate to even ask. Rob, are you out there? <laughs> no, um, yeah. Yeah, no, I'll get back to you, Steve, if that's okay. So, Rob is here and he is trying to figure it out, but uh, it, it's, it's five minutes, 18 seconds left. He seems to be, you know, still exploring. He had a chat with, uh, with the officer as well. Uh, he didn't seem to get any further <laughs> so far. But yeah, let's see how that goes. So, yeah, well, we wish Rob good luck. And now back to the studio. And you gotta hurry up, Rob. It's four minutes, 49 <laughs> seconds, 48, 47, <laughs> and counting. Why did I, I, didn't I tell you, I said I thought we were never going to see Rob Boyd again. Maybe I was just being prescient, maybe uh, I, I, I need to, let's send more optimism. Let's work together, okay? Optimism I like it. toward I like Rob. It. You're going to make it, Rob. You're going to make <laughs> it out of the escape room. We have absolute and utter faith in you. Let's go back to uh, personally the things that have been really exciting today. What, beyond the Cisco view, let's go to the yeah. niche view. What is really, uh, um, what have you really felt has built you up? Again, like you said, from where you come from within the Cisco family, what has really made you happy about what you're seeing? One of the things for me, I think personally, um, is my team is spread all around the world, so it's quite selfish. This is a great opportunity for me yes. to see all my friends. It's <laughs> lovely. Um, and I can see that vibe really with, with our customers as well. You know, that there really is a network, and actually I think the industry is smaller than some people think. I know certainly my media customers all know each other and they share best practice, so this is a great place for them to get together. And there's some events, some lovely social events in the evening as well, uh, customer appreciation events where they can all get together. Um, so I, I think for me, the social element and the connect piece is really important. Um, one of the other things I have to say is I had the honor of interviewing a lady called Soso at Cisco yesterday and it was one of the most inspiring interviews um, that I've ever done. Um, she is a Cisco employee that has come up, um, lives in South Africa and she went through the Network Academy and her passion for teaching um, and for sharing her knowledge and inspiring others to get into the industry as well was really touching um, and she's just impacted so many different lives and brought people in, into the industry and um, it was really inspiring to see that and yeah she's, she's my little superstar um, so I absolutely loved um, meeting her as well. That's really fun and again the social aspects it's really hard to uh, to overstate what's going on in the social arena we can talk more about it in a bit but you've got something really cool here right? I have yeah so I so so, so um, was also at the Women of Impact event oh. which took place on Sunday so we've captured that all ready for our viewers to watch um, be ready to be inspired. Hello everyone, it's so great to be here. Are you energized? Are you ready? <laughs> Woo! It's just wonderful to be among such strong, powerful women. There's a lot of guys here too, which is pretty awesome. Let's give them a hand as well. So all I can say to any woman here, any man in this place, is that whatever challenge you face, you are bigger than it. For us, I think just realizing that we have a problem attracting women into technology is the first step. We saw that after one year um, in operation, we only had 10% women. And then as a female founder, that clearly was not good enough to me. So we set a really high target and said 50% of our students should be women. And when we had that goal, then we started connecting people and we brought refugee women and women working in technology together to come up with solutions that would work for both of them. And that has made us into um, almost achieving our goals. We had 40% women now, but in one year, I'm sure we'll get to 50. We are interested to, uh, to know how to join forces to advance uh, gender equality. And I think that uh, we have to put uh, focus on two topics. One is uh, we have to make sure uh, how our children, especially girls, are being exposed to uh, STEAM uh, careers and STEAM uh, learning at a young age. And it's uh, also important how to promote and to make known more female references in, at all levels in a company. 
You know, the term impact is one that is a very important uh, term for us in Cisco and around how do we make sure that we're really able to drive, you know, in a more uh, results-oriented manner and ensure that anything and everything that we do, we can really see some results. Diversity is still a burning issue. We have the story from SoSo, which is very, very inspiring. What I would, I would really say is that there's always going to be challenges, uh, whether other people see them as small challenges or, or, or not. Whatever you ch your challenge is, you can actually rise above it. In the context of diversity, I think it's very important to have the awareness that other people may be underrepresented or that we are privileged. One thing is really important, and that is the ability to be able to ask for help. One of the things that I really realized when we started Ready School was, I can't do this on my own. And I think there's this saying that if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And I think this is exactly what you need to do. Have the ability to get really good people on board and then build something together. Actually showing your vulnerability is incredibly powerful. And once you do that, you will get back in multiples what you put into that situation overall. We're human. Be human, remain that, connect with others, show that vulnerability in yourself, remove your bulletproof vest or your drawbridge or whatever that might be, which is your defense mechanism that you will use and connect with others. Diversity in general, and not only gender diversity, is, uh, is vital, is critical to, uh, to a company because it brings, it brings competitive advantage to, uh, to business. It's uh, really important because it's uh, a huge source of innovation and it's also a different and a better approach to uh, uh, problem solving and thinking differently. I think that times are really changing from technology just being very technical into more about solving big problems in the world. And I think women really are attracted by these larger goals and the larger visions. And what we're trying to do is make sure that you understand how we're engaging uh, with society, with the community. It's not just about the technology. We're talking about Cisco um, overall and being that bridge to possible. With Cisco, our plan is to touch a billion lives by 2025. And you know, by the end of FY18, we're almost halfway there. And so we've just started, and there's so many things we're having an impact in so many meaningful ways. Well, inspiring people is, uh, it's not something that you do uh, and you can really uh, do for people. People get inspired whether you're aware of it or you are not aware of it. So I'd like to think I'm inspiring people and I'd like to think I will continue inspiring people. So a huge thank you to all of you for coming along and it's wonderful to see such a mixed group of individuals. Thank you everyone. So can you see why I was so inspired to be interviewing Soso? Because she really is an incredible individual. And it's really funny because she said she doesn't mean to inspire people, it's just something that happens. Um, and that's what makes it even more inspiring. One of the things that I love as well about a lot of the women that you saw in that video is that they're very willing to help. They're helping other women as well in the industry. Um, and it's not just about women in technology, it's about that diversity of thought. Um, and that's how we can build the best teams and bring the best to the industry as well. So I've been wondering how Rob is doing. So let's throw over and see how they're doing. Agrim and Rob, are you there? So we are here at the escape room and Rob has 15 seconds left and he still didn't make it. And we are patiently waiting and we can have a look at what's going on inside. He seems to be running around, uh, throwing some papers <laughs> around as well. Um, yeah, it's his. Oh, it's, that's it. There we go. So. It's, it's, it's not that hard. Whoever recommended you will be looking for a new job in the morning. You're fired. I, Whoa. I didn't think it was that hard. I don't know what she's talking about. Um, <laughs> you know, the clues, the clues are obvious to a, to a certain extent, to the right people with the right training. I think everybody should try this out. Right, yes, good. Yeah. Well, Rob couldn't make it, but it doesn't mean that you can't, right? So please do come over to the escape room, the cyber escape room, and give it a try. You're fine? No, of course I'm fine. <laughs> Back to the studio.
Thank you, Agarim. Rob, I, I, if you can hear me out there, I, I still have ultimate faith in you. I know you're a spectacularly brilliant man, but uh, the t-shirt, dude, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, I, I think you can do better. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's kind of hard to know even where to go from there. Let's talk about what people can look forward to in tomorrow's broadcast. We've reached the end of day two, which is hard we to have. imagine, right? And we've got one more day left. It's going to be a huge power pack day. Uh, we've got innovation showcases. We're heading up toward that closing keynote, but there's still so many things that we can do here on the show floor and so many reasons, again, to be live with us here at the event. What what are some more of the things we can look forward to? Something that I saw that was really exciting today was um, the skateboards in the uh, CSR mm -hmm. and the Corporate Social Responsibility booth. And I was really curious as to how skateboards and technology and innovation comes together. Um, but it was really interesting because I was um, asking some of the people that were working on that booth and what it was all about. So attendees could all go over to the booth. They can design their own skateboards, which is super cool. I don't think I can actually ride a skateboard, but I would love to design my own and just have it. You can it. learn here at the show. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> There's, yeah, unfortunately, no lessons on how to uh, uh, ride no, a skateboard, so but super fun. So, um, people are getting very creative and it's a way to connect with other attendees in a really fun and lighthearted way as well. Uh, we've got over 150, almost 200 I think they said, uh, skateboards already hanging on the wall. Um, you would have seen that earlier on today and we'll make sure that we, we try and get back there tomorrow as well. But take a look for yourself if you are at the event. Um, the skateboards are all being donated to charity on Friday. So it gives um, the people who don't have the opportunity to be purchasing their own to actually get a, a really cool and very unique skateboard that no one else in the world will have. And it looks beautiful up there on the wall when you walk by and you wouldn't even think of it. It's very surprising actually to see a bunch of skateboards hanging up there and you think that is corporate social responsibility. It can look like anything. Uh, we always try to pigeonhole what looking after the world is like. Skateboards for underprivileged kids here in the Barcelona area. What a phenomenal and creative way to, uh, to reach out and affect people. It's part of that a uh, program that we've got to touch a, the lives of a billion people by the year 2025, and, and we're doing it in so many different creative ways, and by being here at the show, you can do it. Talk about the Meet the Engineer uh, area as well, because I think that's fun. We haven't really hit on that here in the studio broadcast. Yeah, so attendees can actually meet engineers one-to-one. -one. We have our top, greatest, and brightest minds here at Cisco Live this year, as we do every year, sure. of course. Um, so if you have any specific questions, you're actually speaking to the engineers that are actually building the solutions that a lot of our customers have in place. Um, and it really helps to build that really direct relationship with our customers. So if you have a question, meet the engineer one-to-one, -one, um, ask any questions that you have, and it's a private session as well. Sure. So you can get you know very um, project-specific and ask specific questions around like deployments and what you're actually doing um, in your own environment. So it's great to hear from the, you know, the innovation showcase and the keynote, what are some of the trends. If you want to talk about, hey, I need some help on my specific project or you need any advice, you can do that in the Meet the Engineer one-to-one. -one. And another nice way to do the Meet the Engineer is to head out to the NOC, to go to the Network Operations Center, which is set up in the middle of the Cisco showcase. Uh, for those people who are here on site, we keep urging them, go over and check out the NOC. This is the network that is built specifically to run this event and you have no idea what it takes to put that network together until you come to the show and you stand there and you see it for yourself and you see all the different cabling and the operations and the boxes and the racks that it's taken to put this network up to serve all the people live here on the concourse with us in Barcelona. We've also got the security threat wall over there and you can talk to the engineers who build all that out. They're really, really brilliant people. Absolutely, I think one of my favorite things about Cisco Live and is that you get to hear all the Cisco on Cisco story. Um, so customers can hear, hey, how are Cisco doing it? And actually try and understand um, how we're doing it and get some advice and feedback as well, so that's something that I really love, love seeing is um, yeah, that story. Definitely, definitely. So the last thing that we want to talk about here before we put the, the button on the day is tomorrow's innovation showcases. We've got uh, several showcases, three great ones coming up, ensuring application availability, performance, and security. That's going to kick off at 11 o'clock in the morning, Barcelona time, wherever you happen to be tuning in from. We want you to be there for that. We'll talk about App D and Tetration, analytics, big data, data center management. At 12 o'clock, an hour later, we'll go right into the network of the future, accelerating human communication, We've got Sumit Aurora, and then at three o'clock in the afternoon, right before that keynote, intelligent technology for a better customer experience with Totten Nightingale, our SVP and GM of Meraki, and then we've got the closing keynote, right? Yes, that's super exciting. Really excited for the closing keynote. Larry, brilliant. You want to go ahead and why don't you sign us off out of this one? <laughs> say goodbye to everybody for us. But oh. we, just before we do that, let's oh, hear look. from Rock and Agrim. They look like they're having a lot of fun over there. Oh yeah, oh, are we on? Hey guys, hey, we are just, um, well, we want to learn a little bit more about uh, some of the launch and different things being announced and how to get involved and um, I don't think this is a Cisco product. 
Is this a Cisco prize? Is this a? Um, um, is this no, a, it's not exactly a Cisco. Because I don't know. Prize, but it doesn't uh, stop us from playing it with it, right? I don't know. You, your Europeans, you were saying uh, that this was very important to my understanding of cultural uh, awareness. No, nothing. Well, it's it's more for the fun in the office. So we have oh, one of this in the okay. Cisco Amsterdam office. It keeps getting just a little bit too far. There. You have off, you have games? Okay. And now oh. back to the studio. Oh. All right, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. We're gonna call that an application. Maybe we wouldn't call <laughs> that a dynamic application. It may not be Cisco, but I think it counts as, as part of a dynamic application. Remember, Larry Brilliant, our phenomenal closing keynote tomorrow afternoon at 1645, 445 for those of you who are not on the 24 hour clock. <laughs> we want to make sure that you're here with it. We've got about 30 seconds left in the show here today. We want to thank you again for tuning in and being part of the broadcast. Let's give them that hashtag one more time and that social media hit. <laughs> Definitely, so if you'd like to keep, well we would love you to keep the conversation going. And uh, we're going to be replaying all night, but in the meantime, use hashtag CLEUR to stay in touch with us. Uh, thank you so much for wrapping in. Um, thank you so much for joining us here today for the wrap up show, I'm getting too excited. And we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow, bright and early. Thank you so much. Thanks everybody. Okay, though there is really nothing like that morning coffee. You get to uh, day three of the event, day two, everything's been fun, it's been active, but it's day three of the show, so uh, my coffee. It's I, Well, doesn't it feel like it's just been racing it by? Has. It's been so full on, so exciting, so much going on. I'm loving it. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so what have you been really digging so far? What's been your well, favorite thing that you did? What did you well, do yesterday? Well, we need a lot of coffee, we I need think, a lot at this of, well, point. Well, that's why we're here together. <laughs> but I didn't get to see you most of the time yesterday. You were in the studio or out and about. What did you love? Yes. What were you doing? I laughed, well, a lot, right? It's like <laughs> that lady yesterday that said, oh, everything. <laughs> so, everything. Yeah.